Okay, um, uh, Brian Reeves, ladies and gentlemen. Shh. Last two press so, conferences. So, uh, before, just a quick quick commentary before I start, I would actually, I don't want a one minute warning, Valeria. Okay. In just six minutes. As you all have seen, that six minutes goes really fast. So, I have timed this to six minutes. Yeah. Bring, it, bring it, Brian. And I want to invite you all to find yourself in what I'm about to share with you. And what I'm about to share, I invite you to find yourself in this, and I'm not going to apologize for my language. Because this is about sex, and sex is about fucking. Yes. And all kinds of things, but that's part of it, right? So, this is, uh, I'm ready to go. You ready? Yes. I need a running start, so I'm going to start and then you start. Okay, great. About 45 days ago, I wrote a blog that went out to about half a million women. The title of that blog was, Why I'm Giving Up Women for 30 Days. It was one of my most controversial blogs, and I basically got two variety of response. Number one, it amazes me that you men can't go without sex for 30 days. Obviously, your hearts are not attached to your penises. Those were the people that didn't read my blog. The ones who actually read it responded, wow, I had no idea that you men went through the same things that we women go through. Because you see, the thing is, this woman fast was not about sex. It was about identity and self-worth. I had been noticing for a long time how much I based my worth as a man on the affections and attentions of a woman. No woman equals no worth. I was leaking my energy everywhere in the hopes of really being seen by an attractive woman. I mean, consider... The 90 seconds that I would spend loitering in the produce section handling vegetables, I don't have the first clue what to do with in the hopes that that pretty brown-eyed girl per perusing bananas over there might notice me and make me feel good about myself. And then add on the extra five minutes that I would spend on the leg machine at the gym while, uh, after Little Miss Juicy Pants pulls up at the thigh buster next to me, and I decide suddenly that my leg routine ain't done. <laughs> At least my legs will get a great workout. But then there's the five to seven cumulative years I've spent in relationships that weren't thriving simply because they gave me identity and some semblance of validation, even though I still felt like shit, or worse, empty. So 30 days, and here are the rules. No sex, no flirting, no loitering, no dating, no California hugs. You know those long hugs? You the Kundalini rising? <laughs> And masturbation, well look, it's a little known fact that men are horrified to leave their penises idling for too long. <laughs> we genuinely believe if we don't use it, we will lose it. So I went about two weeks without, which in dog time is like 50 years. <laughs> so there's the basic rules. No dating, no sex, no flirting, no California hugs, basically no fucking hope. <laughs> which brings me to my first discovery. I'm addicted to hope. Hope oh, yeah. what? Hope that someone will finally complete me. As a single man, I would wander around feeling I am incomplete without a woman. That then I would bring that belief into a relationship, expecting my partner to complete me. And she never could, and so I would eventually resent her for it. In fact, this addiction to the hope that someone else will complete us is insidious, and it eventually destroys all that is good in our relationships. So 30 days. I was shaky at first. I fell off the wagon on day seven and I landed right on top of a lovely woman. <laughs> but I did not have sex, but I crossed my boundaries. And after all, this was about my internal boundaries. Sexuality is a tricky thing. It's a natural thing. And this was about noticing the difference between healthy expression of my sexuality and expressing it from a needy place of lack, of not feeling good about myself, of trying to get someone else to fill me up. Which brings me to discovery number two. I was ashamed of my sexuality. I am a normal heterosexual man, attracted to women my age with vaginas. Why would I be ashamed? Well, I'll tell you, because my culture taught me that from a young age, that I should be ashamed. Boys are dirty. We just want to get in girls' pants. We look at dirty, nudie mags and play too much with our dirty penises. And somehow girls just seem to know to run away from me on the playground. <laughs> so like most boys, I figured I had two choices. I would either embrace my dirtiness openly, and just try to get in their pants, you know, presumed guilty, may as well play the part. Or, I could hide it and pretend that I don't feel what I feel. Wanting to be a good boy, I chose to hide it. Byron Katie said, just because a man has an erection, it doesn't mean we have to do anything with it. And that to me is the sweet spot. I have a very healthy sex drive. 
I'm a single man. I'm like an unpaired electron zipping around the universe with all these hot-ass protons running around. I am ready to couple. But naturally, I want to be respectful to women. And I want to be my crackling electric electron self. But culturally, we aren't really given permission for that. Our culture is ashamed of its penises and vaginas. If I were to pull mine out right now, oh. most of you would react with revulsion initially. And I've seen so few penises in my life that I used to think there were only two kinds of penis, what I've got and what the porn stars got. <laughs> and then I went to Harbin Hot Springs. <laughs> and there I discovered that there are as many varieties of penis as there are varieties of orchid on this planet. <laughs> and they're just as exotic looking. I mean, like vaginas, they're extraordinary. I don't know why we are so ashamed of our genitalia. Now here's my third discovery. I'm lonely. I miss the experience of village family. Like so many of you, my family is spread out all over the country. I have amazing friends and I've lived an adventurous life. But I haven't cultivated that rich family experience. You know, four generations sitting at a chaotic dinner, dinner table, a routine gathering of countless wondrous people stories, all interwoven like colorful threads in a sturdy tapestry that forms the legacy of one epic family. I want that. I've never had that. But now that I know, I can go create it with the right woman for me. And that was the point of this fast. These 30 days helped deepen my awareness of who I really am and what I really want, beneath all the distracting behavior that keeps me blind and in pain. Mm -hmm. I simply want to express the life and the love that my wholehearted being came here to express. <coughs> so, if you do spy me loitering in the produce section <laughs> with niche vegetables in my hand, just know that I'm preparing for a life of vibrant family, and I'm just honestly puzzling this one out. But I'm still an unpaired electron, so feel free to smile and offer guidance if you're so inspired. But I am already whole either way. Yeah, this actually hasn't been good for my sex life. It's actually been the opposite. And I actually, I actually did a little ebook. If you want to do your own opposite sex, 30 day or same sex, if that's what makes you crazy, uh, and it's on my website for free. So just uh, this has been incredibly powerful. For What's the website? Um, I actually have my cards. I have a blog called This Wild Waking Journey. And I'll leave my cards up there. It'll be here. So, It'll be on Friends. And it's here too. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Other questions? Yes. How did you come up with the idea for 30 days versus 45 versus... Uh, you know, it's a round number. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, but it didn't scare me. Like, I had a friend that did it for two years. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> so, seven days wasn't challenging enough. It was just my sweet spot. I mean, you know what? Some people can't do it a day. So it's like, just find for you what is the thing that pushes you enough, but, you know, is, is, is reachable. Like, that, that, that's why 30 days worked for me. Yeah. Any other questions? I yes. want to acknowledge you because uh, it is all about this, the whole and complete, which is who you are, who we are, and we forget. And we do place it upon others. I did it for three months. I chose to do it for three months. Uh, a couple of years ago, and it was a fascinating yeah. experience, and I invite anyone and everyone to try it for however long they feel it would suit them. So exactly. thank you. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Um, is that blog that, that you just read, is that yes, online? Yes, it is. Well, uh, that's not a blog. I actually prepared that for this, but my blogs are on, on my website, yes. But that you can... Oh, totally, yeah. Well, it's going to be video. I'll probably okay. publish it as a blog, even, okay. actually. Any other questions? What's the website again? Uh, my website is managingthemagic.com, and you can get to my blog through that. Thank you. Any other questions? This was awesome. Thank you all so much. Thank you.